Good morning, students. Good morning, Principal Sikorin. We brought the entire school board out tonight. <laughs> the school board is drinking wine. Uh, a few announcements to get to, and then some very important announcements. So first, of course, ladies and gentlemen, your queen. Now, by royal command, and by request of the comedy gods, while we are doing these announcements, we need everybody to swish down towards the front, because comedy is best when awkwardly close to everyone else. I'm not kidding. I'm Jean Grey and you. Get out of your back seats. There's no watermelons being smashed. There's no mean crowd work happening. Let's just all get close and have fun. Also, also, also by royal command, we'd like you to all order a drink. Right now. Yes. Comedy is best when you have a drink in your hands. So say we all. Oh, by royal decree, what do you want to drink? What do you have to drink back? And Storm's drinking on it. <laughs> okay, a few announcements. Those of you going on the Arecibo tour coming up very soon. Spread the word to your friends if they're not here. Eat first. If you are leaving very early, it is a long day. There is a snack bar at the Observatory Museum. It is not big enough to feed 300 people. <laughs> we warned them, even still. We know that breakfast starts, in some cases, after you leave, depending on where you wanted to eat breakfast. You might want to order room service. Might want to stuff a few sandwiches in your pockets on your way down the promenade the night before. Do whatever you need to do. Don't go hungry. Let us go through the upcoming schedule. Tonight, we have Comedy Night with Rio Butcher and Hari Kondabolu. <laughs> then, followed by tonight at midnight, two floors up in the Pyramid Lounge, Jim Boja sings the entirety of Band Out the Run. <laughs> Maybe with some special guests. And then tomorrow, as a reminder, is the group photo here in this room because we had to change because of scheduling issues. We are not gathering at 4, we are gathering at 3.30 to leave this room by 3.45 so the picture will be taken at 4. That's the captain uh, will only allow it if we do that timing for safety issues. So again, we apologize for anyone who's on excursions that will make them miss the, uh, the group photo, but as Jonathan has said, we have technology to Photoshop you in, or we'll just scroll some hand-painted hand signs of you and hold them up. Uh, Photoshop is easier, though. Photoshop. This is true. A couple more notes. Jim Bozia, tomorrow at 1 p.m., is filming a music video with everyone who has a ukulele with them up at the main pool bar. And will also be rehearsing for his big show, which is going to involve, I believe the phrase used was, a shit ton of ukuleles. <laughs> Finally, uh, our, one of our sponsors, Geek Chic, uh, is going to be starting some office hours and they will be standing by their tables in the game room uh, for those of you who might be interested in, say, finding out more about them. Uh, the first of those sessions will be tomorrow from 4.30 to 5.30 in the game room, which is sponsored by whom again? Geek Say it once, say it always, say it loud, say it proud. Now if we could bring down the screen. And if the four of us could move off to the side a little bit. All right. Let's talk about this. That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> My name is Nigo Matoy. <laughs> you cruised my father. <laughs> Prepare to drink. <laughs> we're not going to dwell on this a whole lot, but we're going to give you literally the bullet points. Jojo Cruise 2016 is happening February 21st through 28th. That is a seven-night cruise, Sunday to Sunday. 
And that is going to be on the freedom of the seas, the sister ship to the independence, like it in almost every way. And it will have it has just been coming out of dry dock and refitting and bigger, better, faster, cruisier Joe Collier. Yes. The itinerary. I can't make it those dates, by the way, so <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> the itinerary, we're leaving out of Port Canaveral next year. Space, right? Space! Uh, it is actually the same itinerary as we had on Joko 3. Uh, Coco Cay, the, their private Bahamas island. And Anna, you have to move over because you're standing directly between the remote and the machine. Sorry. Thank you. And then St. Thomas, and once again here in sunny St. Martin. Woo! Pricing. All of these prices are per person based on a double occupancy room, and these prices, as always, are all in. They include all taxes, all fees, and all gratuities. Uh, interior rooms will be starting at $14.30 a person, outside starting at $15.66, balcony at $18.07, and suites from $31.30. Yay, yay, money and numbers. <laughs> Discounts. <laughs> All returning monkeys, anybody who has sailed on any previous Joko Cruise Crazy, including everybody in this room, receives a $35 per birth discount. That means those are stackable for you gamer nerds. Also, everybody who books by June 1st receives a $75 per person per birth. Uh, discount, that's what, $170,000? I think that's how the math worked out. Yes. Oh, I thought you said I'll be right back. Um, we can't afford these discounts, you guys. These discounts are crazy. Talk to the math man. <laughs> the math man who has had wine in his hand every time I've seen him in the last two yeah. days. I love his truck when I do the pricing. <laughs> Just like last year, if you sign up on board on Joko Cruise Crazy 5 for Joko Cruise 2016, you will receive an onboard booking cabin credit, which many of you received this year. Everybody cheer if you received your credit. They're structured a little bit differently this year. Uh, interiors will receive $25 per cabin. Outside will receive $50. Balconies will receive hundred, and suites will receive two hundred dollar discount. Excuse me, two hundred dollar cabin credit per cabin, and that's only one credit per cabin. Those are not stackable. Oh, also, if you uh, if you book a if you book a suite and then decide to move to a balcony or an outside, you don't get to keep the two hundred dollar. You can't game the system. So we know you're all gamers. <laughs> to book, we have. Uh, the only early booking, anybody who gets the book before the general public, is all of you here on this ship this year. Uh, and you can only do it while you are on board here. Uh, we will have, you also, excuse me, you also, by doing so, get first crack at cabin, uh, at your room selection. When we say room selection, you're not actually se selecting your individual cabin numbers, which we've never done. And Drew may have a few words about that. Yeah, so... Some people have been confused as to why they cannot select the exact room that they book when they go through our website. And the reason is that we really want to make sure that you have exactly the cabin you want. And everyone's got a lot of different room requests. I want to be next to my friends who are also next to these friends. And basically we get uh, over maybe about 400 of these requests each year. We read every single one of them. We built an entire cabin map visualization tool just to move you around. And the person who reads all of these is, is Anna here. The mysterious Anna! Anna of the home office! Um, but seriously, Anna, Anna is... is booking at jococruisecrazy.com. She helps you guys get all of your rooms, and we really do believe that by, by taking all your, all your requests, we can put you in the best rooms, and people who book on board get their requests processed before anybody else. So you guys, we, we rejigger the entire ship map to get you guys exactly where you want to be, and I hope that it works. It seems like it does. Um, because Anna does not let, let any shit slide. <laughs> That's what it says on her uh, bumper sticker, anyway. <laughs> so give it up one more time for Anna. Uh, 
Uh, let's get through the rest of these. The form will be distributed to your cabins with tonight's sea monkey, and they are also, I don't think they're here yet, but by the end of the show, they will be available in the back of the room at the merch tables. Are they, is that in fact they are here? Is that a yay? Well, they are here now tonight, and you can uh, you can pick them up at all the main shows um, uh, back at the merch table. Now, as far as processing the booking, the form's very simple. You fill out your name, your existing cabin number, your birth date, your preferred cabin type, and if you want, it's optional. You can put in uh, an alternate credit card. If you don't. If you want it just to be charged to the credit card that is on your cabin account currently, you can just leave that blank. Only fill that out if you want to charge it to a different credit card. Well, go ahead. Oh, I just know it, it, it's not going to show up on your stateroom account. They're just going to charge it to the same card yeah. that is on your stateroom account. Yeah, that notice. Just, just to be clear, it gets charged to the card, not to your stateroom account. And those charges usually settle on the day that the cruise returns or a few days after. So look out for them, but do not panic if they're not there immediately upon your return to shore. Um, this year, it's only a hundred dollar deposit to book on board. Yeah. That's down from two fifty. Although sweets, it's two fifty. We want to thank uh, RCI for, for lowering that deposit amount. Uh, the deadline is going to be six p.m. on Friday, day seven of the cruise. Uh, and where you can turn those in, either at the merch tables, we will have uh, they'll be processing back them back there. Basically, if you take it to the merch tables or to the conference center info desk when it is being manned by helper monkeys, they will immediately make you a copy of your onboard booking form that will serve as your receipt. All, if it's not manned, you can also, there will be a, a drop box at the info desk. You can leave your form there and they will make a copy of it they, and they will deliver it back to your cabin with your credit card information uh, removed or, or otherwise covered up so that that won't just get picked up by any old person and start charging a whole lot of rum. <laughs> and uh, we've instructed the interns to draw uh, an eye of Sauron on the Info desk drop box because the Eye of Sauron sees all your cabin requests. Eye of Sauron is not Anna. <laughs> the deposit schedule is, as we say, $100 per cabin deposit now, or again, $250 for suites. And then another $250 per berth when the first he's booking, that's your guys' uh, booking, opens, which is we expect to be hopefully early March of this year. Then another $250 per berth by June 12th. Another 325 per birth by November, and the remaining balance by December 1st. So you've got some time, it's broken down. And also, uh, all of your deposits are fully refundable through June 15th, 2015. So you have time, and if you place a deposit while you're on board, you're not going to lose that if you suddenly decide, what the hell was I thinking next week? Uh, and that is all we have to say about onboard booking for Joko Cruise 2016. You're all coming, right? Uh, I will say this many more times before we're through, but ladies and gentlemen, this would not happen without many people, but specifically Paul and Storm and Drew. Uh, any, any working comedian will tell you that the best opening act is a sales pitch for a cruise. <laughs> Let it never be said that we don't take care of our performers, because we do. Uh, <laughs> I'm very excited to have uh, uh, two funny people with us uh, on this trip. Um, uh, she, you may have heard her on the podcast Wham Bam Pow, or perhaps put your hands together. She is Rhea Butcher. <laughs> 